Hey, it's Efren with Crack Pack Fever. Today we're doing an almond cat pre-release pack. Let's get cracking. Got our preschool scissors back from the last video. Let's see if we can successfully open these. Never opened one of these pre-release packs before, so for almond cat anyway. Now there's rumors that there's a higher chance of invocation in these. I know you get a promo code, but I don't know if that's actually true or not. Lovely box there for anyone who hasn't opened one yet, like me. And how do you open it without destroying it? There we go. Got our, oh, that's a nice spin down. See that? There we go. My promo is Archfiend of Ifnir. Not bad. That's one of the better ones, I think. I saw this in a couple of Moto decks today, so maybe we got some value there. Uh, different trials, of course, for Amonkhet gods, for the honor of being killed and turned into a mummy. All right, there's our five booster packs. Let's see if we can get an invocation this time. Can we get straight to the, nope, didn't do it. There we go, Trial of Ambition, Sacred Excavation, Vizier of Tumbling Sands, oh, another Archfiend. Matching our promo. Island and True Heart Duelist token. All right, we got five more packs to go, including this one. And get one of those invocations, I can feel it. Oh, still can't get to the. There we go. Okay, to the old Flame Blade Adept, I like that one. Aftermath card, reduce to roll. Hey, got some moot. Pretty good uh, commander there. I don't know if you watched the command zone. Good episode with that one. Decent card, got a mythic. Foil, time to reflect. Foil in common, look at that. Foil, beautiful. Beautiful art. May not be the most valuable, we got a punch card. But I do appreciate the art and magic. Glad I got a mythic. Could be worse so far. Let's see if we can go straight to the uncommons. Nope. I'll get there someday. Just gotta keep cracking. Fetid pools, alright. I got a dual cycling land. Fetid pools. I refuse to call them bicycle lands unless I'm saying how much. I dislike that name. Full Art Island, all right. Love those Bolas Full Arts. Bolas or Bolas? Put that in the rare pile. I consider that to be a rare. One in every five packs. More common than uncommon, but still probably more valuable than most of the regular uncommons. Anointed Procession. Haven't heard a lot about this card. I don't know if there's a, any kind of value. Is it? I, I want to think that it's in one of those that Gideon Tribal deck that uh, Saffron Olive made, but I don't remember for sure. We'll look it up after. I don't have any video editing software, so I can't put in the values. But maybe eventually I'll tally up the numbers like Professor. Some post-production quality. Oh, nope. I was one away that time. A new perspective. I think people are... This is a win condition in some blue decks I've seen, I think. So the ones worth hanging on to. 
All right, I got one more. This is it. This is our invocation here. I can feel it. Or maybe a planeswalker. I'll settle for a planeswalker. New Liliana is pretty good. New Gideon's okay. Zena the Seeker. Devoted crop mate. Catcher's attendant. Is it coming? Is it coming? Oh, another dual lands. Not bad. And well, no invocation this time, but we did get some cycling duels. We got a mythic, a legendary that can be a pretty good commander. We got one out of six packs. We got one full art land. Oh, why are there in commons here in the rare pile? So there's our rares with our promo. And uh, paid 25 for this pre-release pack. I'm not sure we got exactly the dollar value, but we had some fun, right? See you next time with Crackback Fever.